You got a, uh, you have a very interesting look in this movie, I gotta say. We were looking at clips of it today, and you've got, <laughs> did you, I mean, I, you had to grow out this, uh, this crazy hair, I'm guessing, for the... <clears throat> no, no, that was, uh, digitally put on there. <laughs> digitally put on, huh? They can do anything now. Remember they took my legs off in Forrest Gump? They put the, they put <laughs> they the, put the long on. hair on, yeah, really? They put the hair on, sure. Wow, those they guys could, they, were... they could help you, too. You know, I was. I'd I fight was, you if you weren't stronger than no, no, me. No, I was watching you uh, talk earlier about the suits. Yeah. And and you were bouncing, and and the hair was kind of bouncing around. It's I do that on purpose to keep people awake during yeah. the show. <laughs> I was told by the network, move your head constantly. Because <laughs> people at home are nodding off. It's kind of like a slinky or something up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. It's, it feel it. It's not even real. It's, how, how do you get it to do that? I, to do that, it's yeah. mayonnaise. <laughs> I bake it in an oven for 45 minutes. We it's have delicious. To, yeah, we have to have good hair, don't we? Hair is a thing. You know? Well, in this business, yeah, you have to. Well, what about the... He's got hair. No, it's perfect. Beautiful. Thank His you. hair is yeah. very beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> Luxuriant hair. Yeah. Uh, you also, did you, what did you, did you lift weights for this role? Because we were looking, you look like kind of beefed up for this. Or is that also digital? Ah, no, that, that's all real, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's real stuff. I, I, uh, I, you know, I work out to stay in shape. You do? But I, I felt like this character was kind of the guy who was, you know, in, the, in front of the mirror and, you know, looking at his hair and his muscles and all right, that. Right, right. So, because you do some roles, like in this, in this movie, you probably get to, you get to show that off. You've done a lot of roles, like where you play Harry Truman, like historical figures. Yeah, well, not, you wouldn't get to, you know, you not, not a lot of opportunity to take your shirt off as Harry Truman. <laughs> That'd be cool. great, like, you know, President Truman, the North Koreans are invading. Oh, get it! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. There wasn't much uh, historical... Uh, I, I, I wore like a fat suit in that one. That, that was one where, you know, a, as he aged, I aged about 35 years, so I gradually, you know, put on the padding and did right. all that, you know, not a lot of, not a lot of muscle work in that one. No, that'd be an easy one. Last night on uh, television, actually, I was thinking about you because I turned on the TV and Ransom is on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was on last night and uh, I know that's a Ron Howard directed movie. Yeah. That, uh, that you did and I was curious, did you, I mean, what, what's, I, I didn't really, he came on the show once, I didn't really get to know him, but do you think of him as an adult? Like, the t one time I met him, I couldn't help but think, and even though he's the director of a big movie, you can't help but think that that's Opie, right? You can't... I know. Uh, Opie was my role model, too, when I was a kid. I didn't uh, say he was my role model. <laughs> All right, gotcha! Take, Take him away, boys! I identified with Opie. Um, but, yeah, it, it was... You know, he's such a likable guy and such yeah. a nice guy and, and great uh, filmmaker. Uh, and so easy to get to know. Uh, we were we were doing uh, we were doing a scene once, and I was uh, you know quite often they sit and watch the directors watch a monitor somewhere else, and we were inside this like apartment set, and the monitors were outside of the set, and I was in there you know getting ready to do a take or something, and and Ron comes walking in, he goes Gary, Gary, come here, come here, come come on out here, I want you to meet Andy and Don. <laughs> And I look at him, what do you mean, Andy and Don? He, and so I walk out, and sitting by the monitor, there's Don Knotts and Andy Griff, like, sitting right next to each other, wa sitting with, and Opie comes in, and they're all there. You know? And I'm looking for Aunt B, and I'm looking for Ernest <laughs> right, e. Bass, right, right. and where's Otis, and all right, that. Right. And, you know, and uh, I said, well, what, I said to Andy, what, what do you think of, uh, of Ron, you know, being such a, you know, great director and everything. He goes, yeah, yeah, he, he's a good director, but I've got more hair. <laughs> it all comes back to hair. That's all he said, yeah. Like yeah. we said earlier. I just like the idea that he's still hanging around with those guys. Like, do they go to a courthouse step somewhere and play checkers? <laughs> it's a very odd idea. I don't know, but they're very, you know, proud of him, I think. They sure. stayed in touch and, you know, they came to visit. It was, it was just great, you know, and then the rest of the day was all you know, Andy Mayberry stories for the rest of the day. Right, which I'm sure they were thrilled with. Do they like to talk about that stuff, or they don't mind it? Uh, I think they, they probably hate it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. That's and keep talking about, about it, yeah. yeah. 
Well, Reindeer Games opens uh, Friday, and Mission to Mars uh, opens March 10th, so you're everywhere. Two, and you'll two, be back. two weeks of uh, Mission to Mars, and Reindeer Games opens, yeah. Very cool. Friday. Well, thanks for coming by. Oh, Always great, great to have you here. here. Gary Sinise, everybody. We'll take a break. Horatio Sands coming up. We'll be right back.